systems thinking is a process that involves understanding that problems can be solved or ideas generated by considering something as a system. A system is an organised group of related objects or components that form a whole. A system can include objects, people, places or events. Let's consider a simple system. A banana, a laptop, a makey makey keyboard and some cables as well as a person are just individual objects. This isn't a system. But when these individual objects are combined, they form a system. Each component is linked in some way and influences other components. Without one part, the system doesn't work. For example, if we're missing a cable, then the system is not complete. My interaction with the system influences the output. Systems thinking is about looking at the system as a whole, rather than as separate parts. It's about seeing the bigger picture. It's about understanding that problems cannot be simply solved through a linear process and that there are a number of variables to consider when solving problems or creating solutions. With systems thinking, one considers all the interrelated components within a system and their relationships and interactions. This thinking skill can also help students understand a situation or context better to find better solutions. Systems vary in complexity. They might be quite simple or consider a broader range of factors. And of course, the complexity of a system and what you would expect a student to consider will depend greatly on their year level and the task at hand. For example, what might a system look like for the design of a mobile app for an art gallery? What might a system look like for considering the design of a sustainable vegetable garden at school? Systems are not unfamiliar concepts to the primary classroom. There are all sorts of systems that you may already study in the classroom. For example, food chain systems, water cycles, and waste management systems. These may be the focus of a system or be one subcomponent in, in a larger system. For example, a food chain for a particular location may be one system that is considered in a larger project around introduced species or say food production. There are a number of strategies for supporting the process of systems thinking, some of which are familiar to the classroom already. Strategies employed will depend on the question the student is trying to solve and can be used as a way to research a problem. Let's have a quick look at some. Students can use mind maps or cluster graphs to identify a number of factors or components for consideration. For example, this strategy could help with exploring human impact issues on a local park, to explore issues in bullying or to identify various ways technology might be used to make the school safer. Changes over time graphs could be used to track a quantity of some form over time. It might be used to track emotions over a week or to explore if technology has gotten cheaper or more expensive over time. Feedback loops are used to explore output from one component and its influence on another. For example, this could be used to explore how does technology impact my health? Or what determines the price of your favourite game? Causal maps are like concept maps or mind maps, but in which you identify the causal links between various trends or components. For instance, the example of a school system. Another example might be the trends within a system, such as vegetable quality and availability. Depending on the project or problem to solve, students might use one strategy or a combination. You might develop student systems thinking skills in the younger years by having students identify people, places and things, say within their home or within the school. You could explore design thinking with other learning activities, for example, looking at the impact of a character's behaviour on the narrative or the storybook by looking at how their actions result in certain outcomes. Systems thinking is an excellent way to have students consider the broader picture and can be combined with other thinking skills such as design thinking and computational thinking for very powerful learning.